Hi everyone, I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. Welcome to my channel. Today is a pack and ship and I have two things for you. We're going to pack and ship a vintage enamel bowl that's pretty much too big for the box that I have. And we're also going to pack a Pyrex Vision saucepan, glass saucepan with a long handle that's a little bit different. And it's the first time I've packed either one of these type of things. So I thought, you know, I'll bring you along and show you how I do it. I'm also going to give you a sneak peek behind the scenes on eBay, just a brief sneak peek of how I set up the shipping for calculated shipping. It's pretty easy. I use calculated shipping all the time because I never know who's buying it and what zip code it's going to. So yeah, I love calculated shipping. And sometimes I round it up to the next pound range just to make sure that I've covered myself because sometimes other than weighing the item itself, sometimes I'm not quite sure what it's going to weigh by the time I get it boxed. Also in this video, I'm going to sneak in a jumping jack. If you don't know what a jumping jack is, it's a cell phone holder. And I'm not going to tell you what color it is. It's probably not orange, but I'm going to sneak one of those in throughout this video so that you can have a chance to win it by commenting the key letters or words that I ask you to leave in your comment. And one more thing, if you saw my Greenville, Tennessee day trip, this is a auction item that I put in the video. It ends really soon. Like this video is coming out in the morning and this auction ends within the hour. Probably there's one bid on it already starting at what I paid for it, which is $3. But if you jump over to my channel, Avante Avenue, find that Greenville, Tennessee video. The link for this is in the description below and in my comments. So you might have a chance to still bid on it, but then who knows when you're going to see this video. The auction could be over. But this is something you're going to see in some of my videos where I show something that I picked up while shopping and then I started at the price that I paid for it and you get a chance to bid on it on eBay. And another item to watch out for in one of my future videos is this little kitty cat creamer that I picked up at the ReStore. So be sure to subscribe, you know, and ring that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any of my videos, any of my little auction items, any of my pack and ships, all kinds of videos be sure to subscribe so with that said let's get this camera turned around and let's get started on the pack and ship video this sold within a day a vintage enamelware white with red trim wash bowl or basin 12 inches round sold for full asking price of $39.95 plus shipping let's go find it To worry about the finish too much but I've got a large piece of some unprinted or blank newspaper print I'll try this with a tape it just makes the buyer think that I I cared I tried a little bit to protect the finish measurement hmm well it's actually 12 and a quarter inches I'm not sure I need to go on a hunt for a box I'm going to do a test fit on a 12 by 12 by 8 priority mailbox. It doesn't really fit flat, but I can put it on the diagonal, so that's what I'm going to do. I just need to put some filler underneath to keep it lifted up. I think these little air pillows will work for this. Might need to roll them up a little bit. Too many. Let's take away two. bad. I think I can take away two more though. Because I don't want these to shift on me, I'm just going to take a little piece of masking tape and tape these together. I don't want them to move. You know, I said I didn't want this to shift on me, but the fact is it's moving around inside the box. So why not just tape it where I want it? Just taped it down in a couple of places. Maybe I want to take those down too. I need them not to shift. I'm going to slip a little bit of bubble wrap around the edges. I don't want this to get dented. It's pretty good. So I don't know if you can see this, but it's on the diagonal. It's 
higher here than here. The rim is right here. I've got large bubble wrap protecting the whole perimeter. I have a lot of space to fill in here. And I really don't want to add any weight to it. Although, I did estimate one to two pounds and it doesn't feel like I'm even close to two pounds yet. So I will try some scrap paper as filler. I don't have my thank you note in here yet. Let's put that somewhere on the bowl. How many do I need? Three and three. See that, that pushes in too much. I'm going to use these two underneath. Looking good. I don't hear anything moving. Weigh it real quick and make sure it's not over two pounds. I'm going to come in at about 112, one pound 12 ounces. It's going to be good. This is, the, this is behind the scenes on an eBay listing under shipping details. You can see that I chose calculated cost varies by buyer's location. That's what I prefer to use for priority mail. And then I chose services. Out of all the service options, I chose expedited service, priority mail, two to five business days. But this is the most important thing. I'm not doing free shipping. So down here where it says weight under package weight and dimensions under custom weight, this is where I choose the range and I'm choosing one to two pounds. Now, backing up here where it says dimensions, if you think it's going to go over 12 by 12 by 12 or 12 plus 12 plus 12, if the dimensions on your box exceed 36 inches, you definitely want to enter that here. In the meantime, you could just enter 12 by 12 by 12 and call it. So that's how I do calculated shipping. Let's get it in the mail. Keep watching, there's another one, and be sure to subscribe. I paid $3 for this saucepan at a church or a thrift store, can't remember, and it sold for $25 plus shipping. Here it is. It is pretty good size, as you can see here. Yeah, I need to get a measurement on it first, I think, and see what kind of box it's going in. It's kind of long, but hey, it was a good sale. Let me take a measurement. It is 14 and a half inches long without any packing material whatsoever, so I need at least a 15 inch box and I might be able to put it on the diagonal. Let me go find a box. I have an eBay box here. It just happens to be 15 by 10 by 6. You know, I didn't check the height. About four and a quarter. I'm sure I can make this work. Let me get it assembled. And putting some on that side seam. In fact, look at this side seam today. Look how loose that is. That's pretty bad. Why I say tape it, don't trust it. I do not trust that side there. Let's do a test fit as is. As I said, I'm going to put it on the diagonal. It's pretty good. Get it packed up, protected, wrapped up. This is unprinted newspaper print, heavier than tissue paper. Like it says, it's newspaper print. You can get this at Walmart or at your local hardware store. Be putting extra protection on this handle here. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut this and fold that to the inside. I just cut that. We'll wrap the handle separately. Put a little bit of tape on the bottom here to hold this paper in place. The handle. I have a little bit of tissue paper here, a little, a little scrap. Wrapping it for the finish only. Tape that on. Let's bubble wrap that separately. What can we do here? This is one piece of half inch large bubble wrap and I'm just cutting it in half. I'm going to wrap this around here a few times. Try to hold it pretty tight and tape it. Masking tape. I think I'll put a piece over the end. This would slide right off pretty much. Not taped anything yet. But it will be, it can be. Go three this way and to the other direction. Let me fold this up in. Doesn't go all the way. Remember, we're going to be putting this on the diagonal. Fold this up. I really don't want this to stay hollow, so I'm going to start taping this. Rolling this bubble wrap to the inside 
and taping it. I'm going to do the same thing here. It's a little bit different than how I normally do things, but this is a little bit different. Roll this in and tape this down a little bit. Now, I still have this, and as you know, I wrap the handles separately. I'm going to try my same idea of cutting this down on either side of the handle and wrapping it inward and just taping it to everything else that's inside. You see what I'm doing? It still has a hollow area here, but I'm rolling everything down and taping it in place. Looks a little crazy right now, but that's okay. I'm going to tuck in this side, whichever way you want to do it. Put some tape here and the other side. I'm just, I'm not worried about the wings this time that I often keep. I just want it packed packed tight. So no matter how much tape it takes, I'm packing this tight. It has a little flap here because I double laid the bubble wrap. Make sure you press your tape down. For this particular pot, this saucepan, I am trying to make everything taped together. It may not look pretty, but it's not about looking pretty. I want, I want to fill in this hollow area. As I said, I think I've got enough allowed for the shipping. And I said about this handle being loose, I really don't like that. Well, I guess I'm just going to tape it on. Just going to add a piece of tape here. Push that in and tape it on. I'm going to do the same to the bottom. Just turn that over. I don't want this handle going anywhere until the buyer decides to take it off by cutting the tape. Okay, it's not going anywhere now. Do I need to tape anywhere else? I mean, it looks pretty good. I could tape this. I know you're getting a lot of reflection. It's hard to kind of see with bubble wrap with my lights, but I think I've got it pretty well padded. Let's test fit it in the box. Whoa, <laughs> I almost got it too big. It's, it's not gonna move around, that's for sure. We've only got about, oh goodness, an inch left. I need to pad the bottom and I need to pad the top. Let's do the bottom first. I have two pieces of bubble wrap here. Let's put this bubble wrap just down in the bottom completely. I want it to, I want it to fit perfectly. It might be a little high on one side, but that's okay. Put this in. You know what? I can feel the glass here. I can feel that little handle on this side, which means that could break because I can feel it through the bubble wrap. That's a problem. That's a real problem. Let's fix that. Even though I don't have a lot of room to work with, I have to fix that. I'm going to take a piece of bubble wrap, tape it, and I'm going to make sure that I cover this little handle that was there, the short handle. Let's tape it to the bottom. Now let's do another test fit. Why do I buy things that are so hard to pack? I guess I like the challenge. It's going to close. Ooh. I might have to extend the lid a little bit. This handle isn't very well protected. Let's take another scrap of bubble wrap and I'm just going to use it. I'm almost wondering if I should have turned this upside down in here. That is an idea. Hmm. See what I've done here? I turned it upside down and I've got the handle resting on bubble wrap here in the corner. And it's got bubble wrap in the bottom. Let's use some air pillows. Maybe. It may not it may not fit. No, it's not going to fit. Not going to fit. But what will fit is some bubble wrap cut into smaller pieces. Work with what you have. But then at the same time, I hope you have the right stuff because it is very important. Check this in here. This will go where an air pillow will not. But I have this big area here to fill in. These might come in handy in this corner. And we have the handle here. And we have the spot here. I don't know. Can I fit one here? Probably. I've also got some more paper if I need it. But let's try these first. I know a lot of people work with styrofoam peanuts. But I have to tell you, I'm not really crazy about them. I don't think they go very far. I'm going to cut this in half. Put a little bit on each side here. Let's get our thank you label on here and do that. Now this is looking pretty good. It's upside down. 
handles very well protected. Got lots of these little air pillows. Got these off of Amazon. I would like to get them for free, but I don't order much from Amazon, so I have to buy them. Maybe you can get them off of Facebook Marketplace. Now, do you see here, I have a gap. I do, I have a gap there. What can I do? I'm sending this priority. I'm going to use a priority scrap. Push that down here. And here. This also helps when they take um, a knife or utility knife to open this. I need something here, but I need it as thin as possible. I'm calling it. I need to go get another roll of tape. But let me temporarily push this down and tape it. Okay. Make sure your tape is pressed really well. I'm going to do two pieces across the top, which normally I would be fine with one. In fact, I'm going to do two on the length when I would be normally comfortable with one. And I'm going to put some on each end. And around the extra tape will help make sure this doesn't burst open. In fact, I'm going to put extra on the bottom ends. I've never shipped anything like this before, this size. First time for everything. I'm going to add another piece of tape here. It has some weight to it. I'm getting a little nervous now. <laughs> Let's weigh it. I'm good. I estimated five pounds. I'm over four pounds, about four pounds, three ounces. Never be afraid to kick in an extra pound on some things when you're just not sure what the final weight will come out to be. Again, behind the scenes under an eBay listing shipping details, I have calculated cost varies by location, chose US priority mail, two to five business days. And then down below, this is where I would choose four to five pounds. You can see it has all these options here. You can even put in your custom weight, but I'm choosing the range of four to five pounds. That gives me a cushion to allow for my packing materials. If the buyer wants it, they'll pay it. Don't short yourself. It's going out to EM in New Jersey. Let's get it in the mail. To win this jumping jack along with your regular comment below this video, add the keywords JJG for JJ Green and I'll announce the winner in my next video. Speaking of my next video, it's going to be a shopping haul. Don't know if it's going to be Goodwill or other sales, but my next video will be a shopping haul. If you like these kind of videos, I appreciate a thumbs up. I invite you to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. I'll see you soon. Simple sales for good profit.